Please have your LearnZillion practice sheet in front of you because you will need it during this lesson. Writers include multimedia to support comprehension. Let's practice making our writing clear by selecting useful media and adding it to the text. I'm reading about how to fix the chain on my new bike, but I just can't figure it out. Try searching for a video online. A big part of understanding what we read is being able to picture it in our minds. Sometimes descriptions can be hard to understand if they contain unfamiliar words or ideas. In that case, it helps to be able to see what the writer is referring to. Writers have always been able to include drawings to illustrate their content. Today, thanks to the internet, we can easily search for photos, graphics, sounds, and videos to help illustrate our writing. Combinations of text, pictures, sounds, and videos are called multimedia. Adding multimedia can help our writing come alive and make it easier to understand. Here's a draft I've been working on. Let's check out the introduction. Have you ever wondered what living in space is like? Scientists who live on a space station experience it every day. A space station is an orbiting laboratory large enough for scientists to live and work. The International Space Station orbits 260 miles above Earth and is a temporary home to scientists from around the world. On a space station, scientists can do experiments that help them understand how things work in space. In particular, scientists can learn how human bodies react to being in space for long periods of time. While they are aboard the space station, scientists figure out how to eat, sleep, work, and stay healthy while weightless. My topic is the International Space Station and what life is like aboard it. Since my reader may not be familiar with the station, I included a photo of it to help them understand what it looks like. I also added a caption, which is a label or quick explanation that accompanies the image. Rather than writing lots of sentences describing what it looks like, I made my text clear by adding the illustration. The illustration also makes my writing more interesting. My piece continues with body paragraphs, each one describing one aspect of life aboard the space station. Check out the first one about microgravity. The toughest part about living on a space station is being weightless. Gravity is what holds us down on Earth. The space station is traveling at a fast rate of speed so that it's able to continually orbit the Earth. At this speed, scientists aboard the space station experience weightlessness, or microgravity. How do you eat when your food is floating away? How do you sleep if you cannot lie down? Over the years, space station crew members have developed ways to deal with this condition. Food is carefully packaged, scientists strap objects to themselves, they sleep in sleeping bags attached to a wall. Liquids, when weightless, float off into droplets, so scientists use damp cloths for cleaning. They carefully collect and store garbage in sealed tanks. As I read, I ask myself, can I picture this in my head? Since we don't normally experience weightlessness on Earth, it might be hard to imagine what that looks like. To help my reader better understand living with weightlessness, I can search for media to add to my text. Your teacher or a family member can help you learn to use a search engine to find media items and paste them into your text. Which type of media do you think would best help a reader understand living with weightlessness? Pause the video. On your practice sheet, circle picture, video, chart, graph, or sound. Restart the video when you're finished. Welcome back. Which one did you circle? I circled video. A chart or graph probably wouldn't show what a person looks like while weightless. While a photograph can be really helpful, it can't quite show how objects and people respond to weightlessness like a video can. Being weightless is an active thing after all. If I can find a video showing astronauts doing daily tasks while weightless, my reader will have a better understanding of what I'm writing about, life on a space station. Let's move on to the second body paragraph, eating. Eating in space is a bit different than eating on Earth. Food must be packaged so that crumbs and droplets do not float away. These crumbs could damage equipment or get sucked into the station's ventilation system. Drinks are sipped from plastic bags using straws. Water and refrigeration on the space station is limited, so most food is packaged to be stored at room temperature and reheated. Some foods, like bananas and candy, can be eaten the same way we do on Earth. Scientists say their sense of taste is decreased in space, so they often get creative with spices. Menu choices have grown a lot since people first started traveling in space. As I read, I ask myself, can I picture this in my head? 
Well, my reader is probably familiar with preparing food and eating, but are there any aspects of eating in space that are totally different from eating on Earth? Food that is weightless is hard to imagine because it doesn't exist on Earth. In order to help our readers see and therefore better understand the challenges of eating and weightlessness, we can add a media example. Which type of media would you choose? Pause the video. On your practice sheet, circle picture, video, chart graph, or sound. Then, make a list of details you would want to show in this media item. Restart the video when you're finished. Welcome back. Which media did you choose? I chose video. A chart or graph might show which types of food astronauts eat, but wouldn't clearly show what they're like when they're floating around in weightless conditions. A photo could show food as it looks when it's weightless, but might not include all the details I want to show. To help them better understand the challenges of eating in space, I want my reader to be able to see the following details. Compare your list with mine. At least one object, that object that's weightless and floating around, containers holding food items, like those that are designed for space use, and an example of a food that an astronaut is eating. I found a video from NASA that describes many of these details and more in about four minutes. What a great addition to my text. I can add it and therefore give my reader another way to learn about eating in space. Although I knew which details I wanted to show in the media item, I didn't know for sure if I would be able to find the right thing in my internet search. Sometimes it's a good idea to search first and then decide whether to add a photo, video, or graph based on what you've found. Searching can be overwhelming because there's so much to be found on the internet. Jotting down details you're looking for can help you do a quicker, more successful search. Let's check out the next body paragraph, staying healthy. Crew members must take special steps to stay healthy while living aboard a space station. In weightless conditions, it takes very little muscle strength to move. Scientists' body parts simply float. As a result, they spend two to three hours per day exercising to protect their muscles and bone mass. Exercising often means being strapped to a treadmill or other exercise device. Nutritionists help plan food supplies to ensure crew members get the nutrients they need. At least one crew member on board is trained to assist with medical treatment if needed. The space station has a specially equipped toilet and crew members bathe using wet wipes. As the space station has grown, crew cabins have become better equipped to allow each member space for resting, sleeping, and communicating with loved ones at home. Crew members schedule each day around meals, exercise, work, free time, and sleep. Can I picture this in my head? Well, we can expect our readers to be familiar with ways to stay healthy, but they may have difficulty picturing how it's different in space. What parts of this paragraph do you think a reader would have trouble picturing? Which part seems very different from the way we do things on Earth? Pause the video. On your practice sheet, highlight at least two sentences in the paragraph you think the reader might have trouble picturing or would need to see. For each one, identify whether a picture, video, graph chart, or sound would be the best media to help the reader understand the idea. Restart the video when you're finished. Welcome back. Compare your revision idea with mine. I highlighted the part about exercising. I was curious what an astronaut strapped to a treadmill looks like and figured my reader would too. I decided that a photo or a picture of this would be helpful. I also highlighted the section about sleeping quarters. I couldn't picture sleeping while weightless, so a photo would help us understand what astronauts use to be comfortable and not float away while sleeping in space. I decided that several photos would be the best multimedia to add to help my reader understand the paragraph. Photos give the reader a quick picture of the idea, whereas videos take longer and sometimes give too many details. When selecting media, think about which type would best help the reader understand the information quickly and make it more interesting. Let's check out the next body paragraph, working in space. Most of the time scientists spend aboard the station involves working on the station itself. Continually growing, it's designed to be a permanent orbiting research facility. Its major purpose is to perform research that only a microgravity environment can provide. When not working on research projects, crew members maintain the station and communicate with scientists down on Earth. Occasionally, scientists will gear up in spacesuits for a spacewalk outside of the station. Can I picture this in my head? What parts of this paragraph do you think readers might have difficulty picturing in their minds? Where could the text benefit from media to make it clearer? Pause the video. 
on your practice sheet, highlight at least one section of the text that you think could benefit from a media example. Select picture, video, graph chart, or sound for the example. Briefly explain what you would want to show in this media example. Restart the video when you're finished. Welcome back. Compare your revision with mine. I figured the reader would have a hard time imagining how crew members maintain the station, and I decided that a video would be helpful for that. I added a video showing how crew members work to maintain the space station. Now that I've added multimedia to my body paragraphs, my writing is easier to understand and more interesting. I reread the introduction with the added photo, body paragraphs with added multimedia, and conclusion, which summarizes the aspects of living in space. I think my revised piece is much stronger. Now it's your turn. Revise this text using what you learned in this lesson. Ask yourself what media examples might be useful for helping the reader to better understand the information. Pause the video. Search for a picture, video, graph, or sound and add it to the text on your practice sheet. Include a brief caption that explains the item. Restart the video when you're finished. Edit your writing to include multimedia. Use pictures, videos, graphs, or sounds that illustrate details from the text. This will make my writing clearer and more interesting. 